Good morning. Today I'll be breaking down the intro to the solo peanuts, which is something that I wrote in 2011 for PASIC, as well as for my junior recital that same year. If you haven't seen that video, you should probably check it out. So without any further ado, let's play some peanuts. So before I even start playing anything, first thing I want to let you guys know is I tune the drums to specific intervals. So first I'll tune drum four, then I'll tune drum two, a fifth of that. And the low spot will be a fourth above drum two, or an octave above drum four. And those are the pitches used for the bass line of peanuts. Then for the melody, I use drum 3, 2, and 1. It's only three pitches. So we already have drum 2 tuned to a specific pitch, so I go off of that. So that'll be the, the re note of the scale, like do, re, mi. So then I tune down a major second, re, do, and then up a major second to drum 1, re, mi. So if you do it right, you can play Mary Had a Little Lamb, Or hot cross buns. And the pitch of the high spot doesn't really matter. I just like to tune it really, really high. So those drums are tuned to those notes, and these heads are brand new, so they're probably going to go out of tune as I play throughout this video. So sorry, just deal with it. But, if I was playing this in a competition, I would be constantly retuning and checking it, just to make sure it was perfect when I went out there and played it. So now that we've got the tuning taken care of, next you want to think about the stick choice you're going to use. You're going to need a double-sided stick, one end, a hard bead or a mallet, the other end, a softer puffy or felt. Uh, these are actually not two-sided mallets, but I made them two-sided mallets with ingenuity and creativity. It starts with a pickup on the end of major 4, so I'll play a click in the right hand just for now while you're learning so you know where the downbeat is. In context, I do a decrescendo, the last two bars, so it'll sound like this. the right hand comes in, we're on the hard side of the stick, so it's nice and loud and present for the melody, contrary to what the bass is doing. I'll start by playing just the right hand by itself, the melody, and I'll do it once again with the click, just so you know where the pulse is. Now the super tricky part is doing both together. This takes a while, you're going to want to break it down really, really slow. Here's that first four bars again that I just played with the right hand, this time adding the left hand bass accompaniment in. I'm going to do it way under tempo so you can see how it lines up. And at tempo. So you can see while I'm doing that, I'm trying to keep the left hand lower just because the right hand melody is more important and people will recognize the tune, hopefully. Moving on to the next two bars, it's the same thing that we just did, but at the end, you're gonna flip both sticks. So now you have the soft, puffy side in the right hand and the hard mallet side in the left hand. And the last note on the upbeat of four is gonna be just the right hand by itself this time, so you have time to flip the left stick around. Here it is slow. A little 
faster. And that tempo. So now we're reversed with which way we're holding the stick, and we're also going to be reversed in which part is being played. So now the right hand is doing the bass line. The left hand has the melody, just for a little bit though. And once again, at the end of these two bars, we're going to flip back the other way. So we're starting with the right hand soft, left hand loud, ending with right hand loud, left hand soft. Here are these two bars under tempo. started left hand soft right hand loud however at the end of this phrase we're just going to flip the left stick so we end both hands on the loud side of the stick here's the next two bars under tempo a little faster Now we've arrived at this part, but now we're going to kind of venture off from what the song actually does because this is a tenor irony and the only rules are play a billion notes, don't hit rims, and maybe have like a couple dynamics in there if you want. For the next two bars we start off with the melody of the song. Then we have a couple Swiss Army drags slam five and end with crossover singles down the drums. Slowly these next two bars go like this. A little bit faster. And at tempo. more tenory with this. We have this bar of 11-8 which starts off with that melody, then we have a grandma ending with end of one, tap accent tap. Slowly it goes like this. A little faster. And that tempo. Now we have a bunch of bars of an extended sweep pattern ending with your left stick flipping back to the soft side. Slowly, it goes like this. Let's pick up the pace a little, here it is faster. tempo. So these bars represent the first two rules of tenor ionies, which once again are play a billion notes and don't hit rims. So the key to playing these billion notes and not hitting rims are stay relaxed, have good zones, as in play as close to the rims as you can but don't hit them. And don't be afraid to turn your wrist out a little bit more than you normally would. If you do a combination of all of that, as well as practice a whole lot, then maybe you'll get through this part without hitting any rims. Now we're at the end of the last few bars. It's kind of a recap of the beginning, but not actually doing the whole thing. I'll just play through all of it nice and slow. A little bit 
faster. So you probably noticed in there that whole thing is a giant decrescendo. Even at the very end, I flip my right stick so they end with both soft sides. However, I'm still thinking about keeping the right hand louder than the left because that's the melody. Left hand's the accompaniment. You want to hear the melody more. And these bars are a good example of that third optional rule, which is play with some dynamics. If you feel like Congratulations! You made it to the end. Here's the entire introduction to this solo, under tempo. And here it is at tempo. Thanks a lot for watching my video, and if you're gonna learn this, I wanna see it. So, follow and tag me on Instagram at Underwater Drummer or on Twitter at EMC Drums, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, EMC Productions, and click that Liberty Bell. That way you get notified immediately when I post a new video. And also consider buying some custom t-shirts and merchandise. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. And, have a good morning.